Hello, this is Marcus from Profile Tree, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to manage the users on your WordPress site. First, click on Users in the left toolbar within the WordPress dashboard. From here, we can look at all of the users on our site, separated by different user roles using the links at the top, such as Administrator, Editor, and Subscriber, and we can narrow them down. Depending on the nature of your site, you may have other user roles. We can make bulk amends similar to other areas of the site by highlighting users using the checkbox and using bulk actions such as delete or bulk changing the roles to other roles available on our site. Now let's look at adding a new user to our site. To do so, click on Add New. Here, we can add the new details about our user to the site. The required fields include username, email, and of course, password. So depending on your site, you may have other fields that can be filled in. We'll enter in an example one here. And if you like, you can enter in other information here. For a password, we can set it manually, or we can just generate a password like so. We have the option here to send a new user notification to the email that we have in place. This will automatically send a link for the user to log in, confirm their details, and then set their own individual password. Here, we can define the role of the user. Administrator will give top level access. Editor will give access to change posts. And likewise, there'll be small differences between each of these users that we will make sure to define in the handover process. We then can click on add new user. You can now see the new user has been added to the site. After the user has been created, we can then make some further amends, including some of the fields from before. There's also biographical info and profile pictures. We can make amends to any of this at any time by changing their role, any other information placed, their nickname, which appears in the top right of the screen, and how their name is displayed publicly. The only constant that cannot be changed within WordPress is their username. You can also set a new password for a user manually, just like so. And after making any changes, we can click on update user. When we decide that we want to delete a user from the site, we may see the following prompt. Occasionally, since users contribute content to the site, we have to attribute the content to another offer or another user on the site. We can delete all of their content as well, conversely, but it's best practice in general to attribute all content to a different user rule. You then click on confirm deletion and the user has been removed from the site permanently. And that concludes the video for managing users on the WordPress sites.